teachers are very much facilitators. They guide you through the lesson and the interaction with the teacher is very casual, which I enjoy quite a lot. The teachers, for me, are part of the community. We had a teacher that actually ate dinner with us at some point because he had to do some woodworking with the students afterwards. You don't really necessarily send an email. You can just knock on their office door and they say, yeah, sure, I can spare five minutes to answer that question. If I work in a group, we sit on a table, and I, and I start by asking who wants to tell something, and then for half an hour we talk about the problems. He definitely tries to keep it very open. Of course, a sort of steering the way we're going, but I think he's very much trying to not direct too much of what we're doing, but sort of have us do the things ourselves. One of the main things that I've learned through my experiences teaching the Atlas students, or actually working together with the Atlas students, um, is that we're not working so much at my pace, it's at the pace of the students. So when they want to know more, they ask for more, and it's up to us to provide them with that more, or to be honest and to say, I'm not sure right now, but I will find out for you, and we'll do this together. So you have the cell membranes connected. The teaching of Atlas is really amazed me because it was really different than high school. They don't just tell you, you have to learn this and you have to know this. They guide you through it. We're pushed to the limits. The learning environment is you have to learn through the challenges rather than here's the bookwork, learn it and then like repeat what it was. It's flipped a bit from how it was at school for me. I like that now. Of course, it's all in transition, but that's something we will never lose. We will continue to evolve and continue to adapt to the needs of our students and to the needs of society.